Hey there, Tony with Philpiece here and I'm going to show you how to measure heating capacity in BTUs on a furnace using the Joblink system. Now the heating capacity is a calculation of how many BTUs the appliance is actually generating, which can be compared to the output BTU spec from the manufacturer. Now calculating heating capacity in BTUs is another data point to your arsenal to understand how well the system is actually functioning. And what's nice about the heating capacity is you can calculate that while doing a combustion analysis on the system to save you time. Now in order for your job link app to calculate heating capacity in BTUs, you need to feed it a couple of inputs. One, you have to measure the delta T across the coil, and second, you need to get an estimated airflow. So for the delta T, you just use a couple of job link psychrometers, insert one, of the one at the return and one at the supply, and then the job link app automatically calculates what your delta T is. Now on the airflow side, you can use a couple of job link wireless manometers to measure the total external static pressure and look up the manufacturer's blower data tables. And knowing that this fan is set to medium right now, I see that my estimated CFM is 1050. So when I input that into the Joblink app, I instantly get a heating capacity and BTU calculation live and in real time. It's showing me that I'm at about 58,000 BTUs, which is pretty good because that's exactly what this piece of equipment is rated for. Calculating your heating capacity in conjunction with performing a combustion analysis gives you a real good insight into how the equipment is actually performing. And that's how you measure heating capacity and BTUs on a furnace using your Joblink system. As always, please follow us on social media at Philpiece Products and stay tuned for more videos.